Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to resize and align images. I sort of gave you a quick intro to that in the previous screencast. Let's go into it a little bit more detail. Um, what we have here is I'm having a look at my tour update, Winnipeg Rocks post, and what I'd love to do is add a new image to this. I've got an image here of my band rocking out in, in Winnipeg. It's not really my band. Again, I just found this image on the internet. Band, whoever you are, Anonymous Band, thank you very much for making your image publicly uh, accessible and copyright free. Thank you. Um, okay, so um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to add it to here. So we're going to go ahead and edit this post. A number of different ways to do it. If I want to see all of my posts here, I can go ahead and hover over Tour Update Winnipeg Rocks and I'll just click on Edit over here. And okay, where do I want to put this? How about, um, what if I wanted to put it after what if I wanted to put it between these two paragraphs right here? Let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my, my cursor down here. I'm going to add an extra line here because I'd like to have that image fit nicely between here. Again, I'll click the Add Media button. And now that I've seen the previous screencast, I did upload an image. So I could actually reuse this image. This is something that um, you know uh, is important to know. When stuff's in your media library, you can reuse those images anywhere on your site. But in this case, I've got a new image I want to upload. So I'll go ahead and click Upload Files. There's Rocking Out in Winnipeg. Notice that this is a PNG. That's one of the file formats we can use as well, too. I'm going to upload this. Uh, WordPress is uploading this. You can see the upload progress bar right over here. This is a bigger image. In fact, I think this is the largest image I have. Um, so it's going to take a little bit longer, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, here it comes, here it comes. And has it loaded yet? We're just waiting for it to process. What WordPress is actually doing right now, there we go. So now it says, there's my image right there. Fantastic. It's been added to our media library. WordPress, when it uploads an image, it doesn't just upload an image. It's actually creating all these default um, uh, different um, uh, image sizes. It's actually creating separate versions of that image, um, just resizing that automatically in these predetermined uh, different s image size formats. Um, and th there's a very good reason for that. The reason it does that is just to make your site load faster. When you select one of those predetermined image sizes, your site will load faster than just loading the largest image available. Okay, um, And that that's good. That A faster loading site is a good thing and it saves your users bandwidth and, uh, and it's just a better built website. That's the proper way of doing it and WordPress is really good at that. Okay, so let's say rocking out in Winnipeg is uh, our title. I'm not going to bother putting a caption. Or actually, will I put a caption on this? Sure, let's put a caption. It's like, last night we had a great show in Winnipeg. The crowd was wild. There we go. Um, alt text. Remember I said alt text is very, very important. Let's just do a brief description. Um, um, I can just say a band uh, rocking out on stage. There we go. And I won't bother with the description. Okay, what's the alignment? Um, what I'd like, I'm picturing this image being centered, centered right between there. So let's go ahead and select the center alignment. What would we like it to link to? I'm just going to have it linked to none. Okay. And the size, what's the size going to be? How about, I think medium might be a little too small. Let's try large. Let's see if that'll work. Okay. Um, and here's here's an interesting thing. Uh, when, when you're uploading an image to WordPress, it really is a good idea. If I didn't mention it before, it's a great idea to upload the largest version you can find and then let WordPress do the resizing because we know WordPress are, is just, it's set up to do that resizing automatically. Um, so if you find the largest image you can, WordPress, as I previously mentioned, will automatically resize it into these predetermined sizes. Um, thumbnail is a predetermined size, 150 by 150. Next one is medium. Okay, it's kind of a medium size. We saw that in the previous screencast. Large is a bit more on the large size. And then here's full size. You will, you will have access to all of these different sizes. Okay, on, on your site, you can choose a different size for different applications and in different locations on your site. That's perfectly okay. Um, uh, but, but obviously, if you upload a small image, then WordPress can't create a larger image out of a small image. So if you upload an image and you see you don't have all these choices here, it's because your image, the image that you uploaded was too small. 
and and it uh, like if you just uploaded a 400 uh, pixel wide image then WordPress would only be able to generate the thumbnail and the medium size it wouldn't be able to generate a large and and uh, anything lar larger than that so you would end up with thumbnail medium and the full size in that case would just be that 400 pixel wide um, image. This is important to understand, okay? I see people kind of, you really mess up the images and kind of think, wow, why don't my images very, look very good? It all has to do with that resolution. You need to make sure that they're as large as possible, okay? Um, so we're picking large. That looks good. It's center aligned. We're not going to have it linked to anything. Let's go ahead and click insert into post. Okay, so there's our image and there's our caption underneath there. Let's go ahead and click update, see what this looks like. And in the meantime, as we wait for that to upload, okay, I'll go ahead and hit reload over here. And there's our image, okay? And just as we wanted, it's actually, it's right in the center. Now, it looks to me like the size um, is, if the size, I'm not entirely sure how big this is, whether that is exactly, what's the size here? Let's go ahead and, and there we go advanced is whether this we've got 625 here that might just be taking up the entire width but that's fine that's exactly what we wanted and so there we go um we've we've uploaded an image we've centered it right here we've placed it exactly where we want it to be does that show up on the front page it does show up on the front page why because we haven't actually set a more link. We haven't added a more tag to this and that's perfectly fine. Hey, our site's actually starting to look like a real site, sort of. That's pretty cool, I think. All right, so I think now you are an expert at uh, adding images to posts and resizing and aligning images. Um, and uh, um, I'm in the next screencast, I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, how WordPress handles media and we'll see this in action and uh, we'll have some cool stuff to do. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.